Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andrew. And I'm back with another video. You're watching Double Down, where we talk about anything crypto related. So today is basically like a, a quick uh, do-it-yourself video, and I actually ordered uh, RX 580 AMD graphics cards for my mining rig, and uh, I was not getting the hash power that a lot of people said that they were. So I was just, you know, on forums and stuff, and somebody helped me out recently on getting the maximum hash power and I'm getting about 32 mega hashes on Ethereum and I want to show you guys a very very easy way to basically get that um, up and running and if you guys found this video helpful I would really appreciate if you smash that subscribe button so we can grow the channel let's get started so I'm gonna go ahead and open my uh, team viewer here so you guys will need three things you're going to need Polaris Bio. I will put all the links in the description below to what you guys will need to download. Uh, you guys need ATI Flash, and then this is uh, basically a patch once you guys are done with all that. So what you're going to do is download ATI Flash, and you're going to go ahead and open ATI Flash. And you're going to have to run this as administrator. So once you guys run this as administrator, it will go ahead and open just like this. So um, here's one of the cards that I set up. I did not put all of them in yet, but I did put one in. So this is the RX 588 gig. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save my BIOS. So this is very important. You guys are going to be modding the BIOS to get the maximum speed. So you want to save the original one in case something goes wrong. So what you're going to do is click save. And then you're going to basically choose where you want to save. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop and then I'm gonna name it original bios for YouTube because I have my original bios already labeled so I'm gonna name it original bios for YouTube and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save on, on my desktop so now it's gonna do is it's gonna tell me that it's saved and then I'm gonna go ahead and click continue now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this or I can go ahead and close out of this and then I'm gonna close out of this file and now I'm gonna to go to Polaris BIOS and what I'm gonna do is again run this as administrator yeah and it's gonna go ahead and start up all right now the, it's very very simple in Polaris editor what you're gonna do is click open BIOS and now you're gonna find the BIOS that you saved so you're gonna go ahead and click all files right here and then find the The one you saved and I named it original BIOS for YouTube So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and click open now It's gonna load your BIOS for that for that GPU So there are a lot of people on uh, YouTube that are you know saying copy uh, these, these are called timing straps and a lot of people say you know copy the timing strap of one 1750 to uh, one 2000 or the two uh, 1750 to two 2000 so I tried this on a previous version and it did not give me the the speed I was looking for however uh, with the help of one of the people that I was um, talking to in the forums they told me that I need to click on one click timing patch and this actually helped me a lot so what you're gonna do is click one click timing patch and then it's gonna tell me Samsung memory found and then I have I believe a Hynix yep so I have a Hynix as well so it's gonna go ahead and do everything for me that's how simple it is all you guys have to do is just click one click timing patch click OK and it's done it already modded the BIOS for you guys now you're gonna to have to click save as and again make sure you label this as modded BIOS Okay, so once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click save to a location that's easy, like desktop. Click save. All right, so now that is already saved. We don't need this anymore. We can go ahead and X out of this. Now you can go ahead and X out of this and go back to ATI Flash and open it up again under administrator. And now that you open it up under administrator, you're going to have to load the BIOS that you just modded back onto your graphics card. So it's very simple. You're going to click load image and then you're going to find the modded BIOS. So right here, modded BIOS for YouTube, open. Now, one 
precaution you're going to click program but your computer is going to freeze up for about 30 seconds to one minute do not worry do not turn it off because you will brick your graphics card so do not do anything after you click program if it takes two minutes just let it go and it will program itself and come back it, and I guarantee you it will freeze so do not touch it do not do anything now you're gonna click program I already programmed mine so I'm not gonna click it again but you're gonna cl click program and it's gonna come up after 30 to 45 seconds saying that it's complete and that's all you guys need to do once you're done that you, you guys will just click OK and it will ask you to restart your computer once you guys restart your computer you're gonna go ahead and download the last file which is the patch this patch basically um, patches up for this is for Windows mainly this patches up any um, you know video cards or errors the screen resolutions or anything that was messed up this will patch it for you so you're gonna go ahead and click yes and run it and see as uh, you could see all these patches were already patched for me but for you it'll just say patch ready patch ready patch ready and then all you have to do is click yes and it'll take care of it right away and basically that's all you guys need to do for modding your bios and that's how easy it is to go from 22 23 mega hashes all the way to almost 32 mega hashes and lastly you guys can open up MSI afterburner and um, tweak your tweak your memory clock just a little bit so right now I believe I'm running at 31 um, I could show you guys how to tweak the memory clock as well so once MSI afterburner opens up um, gonna go to the one card that I have that's RX 580 so th this is basically my memory clock you guys can leave all this alone uh, this is what you're mostly focused on so I have ran it on 2250 for a while and it's always been stable so you guys can uh, run it on 2250 without a problem again um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm getting on my hash rates so once we're done that we just click the check mark right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my claymore miner and I'm um, dual mining for some of them and I'm uh, just single mining ethereum for some so it's that it's gonna open up and it's gonna go ahead and find that I have uh, the RX 580 right here and let's see what we get for mega hashes alright guys so right here uh, we're getting on the first card we're getting a uh, 31 point nine seven one which is pretty good um you guys could tweak it a little bit more maybe to get 32 out but it's right about 32 and it's very stable at this configuration so that's basically how easy it is to get your graphics card from 24 a stock to all the way to about 32 mega hashes so that's basically it uh, i'm gonna let it run for a little bit just to, um you know show you guys that it is stable it's not gonna crash and that's basically how you get your card to 32. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it run for you guys so you guys can see how stable it is. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.